my god. Today, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I started filming. I didn't really do anything, thank god, but I realized I hadn't even started press record. Thank god I noticed. Okay, hello, welcome to my August Shop My Stash. Um, as usual, can't believe that it's coming into fall, but I'm so ready for fall, so I'm, I'm loving this time of year. I went to HomeSense yesterday and I got some spooky stuff. Look at this. This is like a jar, but I'm using it as a brush holder. It's so cute. Anyway, so I'm in the mood, but basically, I'm in the mood for fall. Um, basically, I want to do my inspiration for today's look. Um, I've been watching a lot of make makeup Missa or Melissa, and I am obsessed with her. I love how she does her makeup, so I wanted to do something inspired by her. And yeah, I want to do like a sunsetty look. So let's get into picking the makeup and then I'll be back to start the look. Okay, hello and welcome to picking my makeup. Um, is there anything even in this drawer that is new? Not really. Base is pretty much same as usual. For blush, I think I want to do something yellow. So yellow, orangey. And then what highlight? Let me think. Maybe let's use this Rimmel one again because the footage of me using it last week, or last week, last month, cut out. And then I want to do, yeah, something orangey for blush. So I'm not going to use anything in here. Next up, we have this drawer. I think I'm going to use this cream blush, which is from e.l.f in the shade Glowing Guava, Glowing Mango, or I will use the Milk Makeup Cream Blush. I might go pink as well, I'm not sure. I think I'm leaning orange though. And then for lips, I might use this, which is from e.l.f. This is the Seriously Satin Matte, Seriously Satin Lipstick in Creme. That won't even focus. It doesn't even matter. And I think that's that for this drawer. I'm going to use this bronzer. I think I'm going to have this as a focus bronzer. This is the NYX California Beeman bronzer. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to pull the Likely Makeup Clown Blush Palette, which is right here for the orange and yellow blushes in there. And then maybe I'll pull this blush. Or is this more? I don't know. I'm just kind of pulling blushes that are warm, orangey, yellow. And then I'm going to pull the So Retrograde blush as well from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. Can I open these with one hand? No. It's this one. And then my absolutely chaotic lip drawer. I'm going to have a pretty nude lip, I think. So maybe I'll take this NYX Stay Matte just in case I want to use it. And then I'm also going to take the NYX or the e.l.f. Um, lip Plumping. Oh, sorry. The Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick and the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Peach Bellini. For palettes, I know that I want to use the Sunset Horizons from Beauty Bay. And I also want to use the Utopia palette in conjunction with that. I want to have like a chartreuse -y lid. So I'm going to grab for, there's like a greeny chartreuse -y shade in the Adept Codan palette. And then I'm also going to pull, oops, Kaleidos Escape Pod as an option, and then the Hella palette from Odin's Eye. And I think that's it. Okay, so we're back now. Um, basically, I was just, I don't even know what I was talking about, but I'm gonna start with my eyes before anything else, which is, I never 
do this so it's a little bit wild for me um but basically only thing you missed is me priming my eyes so <laughs> that's fine and as you saw i'm gonna use the beauty bay sunset horizons palette let's zoom a little bit in a little bit oh my camera is gonna die so hopefully it lasts for a little bit i'll keep my eye on it but anyway um i'm going to start using the shade thunder which is this dark blue if you watch melissa you will know that she does a lot of like um she starts with the dark shades pretty much exclusively so in true inspiration <laughs> i'm gonna do that am i filming yes just making sure so i'm gonna take this dark blue thunder shade and I'm going to do something rounded, I think, so I'm going to pack this on my outer corner and then bring it through my crease just a little, so packing it on my outer corner and then In a kind of like rounded shape, bring it a little bit through my crease. Kind of like this. Excellent. As usual, my <laughs> left eye looks better than my right eye and I've taken this shadow too far, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to now take the shade Twilight, which is this dark purple and basically I'm just gonna blend this right on the edge um, of the blue like kind of like blend it pack it on type of situation but I'm not gonna use this to like blend it out too much the only problem for me in doing this is that my eye brows are quite like they just kind of get in the way. I actually, the more I do makeup and like more dramatic looks and stuff, the more I understand why people shave off half their outer half of their eyebrow because it makes it like you could just blend it right out. So I think I'm just gonna basically blend over the edge of my eyebrow. Okay, and then I'm going to take the shade Hibiscus, which is this lighter purple. This is actually very not like the way I typically do my makeup <laughs> because I just want to like blend everything right away, but that's not how like she does it. So, and I'm again just going, well, I'm going to like blend a little bit, but, um, not like super blend as I go type of deal. You know what I mean? You guys get it. I don't know how she fits so many colors onto her eyes. I guess she just like typically blends it out a lot. And now I'm going to take the shade of Flamingo and blend it out. This is gonna go more like out this way though. This is actually even less on my actual lid. But like I said before, I think I'm just going to blend this pretty much just like through my eyebrow. And again, less blending and more just like packing, I feel, and then blending later. And then I'm going to go over that, like the very edges with the shade Bliss from the Beauty Bay Utopia palette. Um, then I'm going to take the shade Reef, again from the Sunset Horizons palette, and I don't know, put that on the edge of this. And then I'm going to take the shade Zest. And basically blend that directly like right into my hairline. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. 
but we will prevail. Don't worry. I think I'm going to do my lower lash line. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I think just to get the general shape, I'm going to. So I'm going to stamp the shade Thunder underneath my eyes halfway. And then I guess basically take the same, excuse me, the same shades that I took from my, on my top lid and just blend them out. So this is the shade Twilight, which was that darker purple. Then taking Hibiscus, which was the lighter purple. Flamingo, the hot pink. And then also just making sure that it's like connected, I guess, like forming some sort of shape with where it is in my top lid as well. Then I don't know how, how do you do like uh, concealer and stuff? <laughs> and then I think that's fine. I'll leave the yellow right out here. And then I'm going to take Flamingo or at least the brush that I had Flamingo on in the front part of my eye. So it's like a little bit more blended here. And then maybe I'll take a touch of uh, Reef. I guess I could have done Sorbet as well. You know what? I might add Sorbet in, which is that darker orange. So it's this. And then I might just add that in just between the pink and the orange here to help it blend better. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, so similar to what Melissa does, I'm going to just... I'm going to hop off camera for this just because you've already seen like the process. It's just going to be me blending, but I want to obviously get these shades blended better together. Um, so I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I blended it, I think, as good as I'm going to be able to. I feel like I could blend this a little bit better, but maybe I'll do that at the end. Okay, so does it look absolutely insane uh yes and do you believe that i can finish it well probably not but we're both on this journey together at this point so now i'm gonna cut my crease and decide which shade to use in my lid so let's just look at our options so the first shade that i'm contemplating is the shade fluorescence from the hello palette from odin's eye so this is it right here. Then from the Escape Pod palette, I'm contemplating the shade Galactic Gala. Which is maybe a little bit more green, it has less yellow to it, I feel. This is the shade from the Kodan palette. Kodan? Kodan itself. And I feel like that might be the winner, I think. That's the winner. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do, actually, first I'm going to take the shade Midnight, which is the black from the Beauty Bay palette. And I'm going to place this, like, right on my, like, in my outer corner. My very outer corner. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to run out of memory. I'm going to cut my crease quickly and then be back. Okay, so I've cut my crease. I blended a little. I'm now realizing they're not even fully cape. <laughs> and I've also put glitter glue on my lids. Um... Okay, and so now I'm just going to take 
this shade from the Kodan palette, the shade Kodan. And put this on my lids. Okay, so. Okay, so I just did that. I'm just really. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get my base on, okay? This is just where I'm at right now. So basically, I'm pretty much done with my eyes. Um, for right now, I'll probably do a little bit more blending when my base is on and such, but what I'm gonna do now is get an inner corner shade, and I think for my inner corner, I'm gonna take the shade Dreamy from Shine by Esty, which is like a pinky blue, and put this on my inner corners. Actually, is this the one that's, whatever, I'm just gonna use it. If it's blue, it's blue. If it's pink, it's pink. It's gonna like look nice either way, I think. And I'm also gonna put this on my brow bone. How am I even gonna do my brows? I legit do not know. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. Um, I'm gonna use the Ordinary Foundation. I don't know if I already talked about this, about using this, but it's already later in the day, so this is just what I'm gonna use. I don't need anything super long wearing. Actually, that's a lie, I have not primed yet. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Putty Primer first as a base. All right, and try not to have this foundation slip off my hands and try not to get this on my shadow, which actually, this is almost done. And then I'm gonna take this foundation and just blender on and I guess I will blend the edges of my shadow into the base products that I have um, when everything is like set and stuff but I don't even think I'm gonna put concealer on my under eyes because what's the point <laughs> I got a little bit overzealous with the foundation blending here but again Hopefully I'll just blend this all out. Um, let me just do my concealer. I guess, you know, is there even a point in putting this underneath my eyes? I feel like no. So again, this is just, or this is just Maybelline Fit Me. And then I'm gonna spot conceal with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer because my skin is horrendous recently. All right, what's now going to come is one of the more difficult parts. All my cream products, or like my just cheek products in general. So I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Amber. And contour with this. I'm not even gonna do cream bronzer today because I don't even know if it will actually be worth it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I will just take my powder, I guess. Maybelline Loose Powder, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, as always. Um, and I'm just gonna take this, I guess, just here, because obviously I don't wanna take it right under my eyes. You know what, I guess I actually won't use cream blush because I totally forgot to. Um, but that's okay, I'll just use powder blush. <laughs> this is, I knew this was gonna happen, that you know when you like, I have done my makeup in like the same-ish routine for a long time, so 
now that I'm like switching it up, I honestly, I'm like, what step goes next? <laughs> I'm going to take some hourglass powder. Look at that pan to brush this Maybelline powder away. Set my face with some Rimmel Stay Matte. And then go back in with my hourglass. Now I'm going to take this gigantic NYX bronzer. This is the California Beeman bronzer in the shade Free Spirit. Um, I think this, like I said in the intro, this is going to be my next, I guess, project pan for bronzers. I'm just trying to use up. The bronzers that I have in my collection that have like really bad shade ranges and I've just been focusing on like one bronzer at a time because bronzer looks the same pretty much you know it's like a product that I don't mind at least using like every day like the same one every day obviously there are ones that I prefer but it's not like using the same eyeshadow palette to me at least every day um, anyway, this is, I think, the one that I'm going to use. It's not, again, the best shade for me. It's very warm, ready toned. Oh my god. And it's too dark, also, just in general. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Soothing Aloe Mist. To spray my face. And I'm actually just now realizing that I have not yet put my eyebrows on. Maybe I'll do that now before I forget. Oh my god. I am all over the place. So as usual, I'm just gonna do some soap brows. See how it goes. Again, I may have to blend eyeshadow over my brows again but that's okay try not to disturb anything just brushing some soap through here maybe I'll do my highlight while they set I don't know <laughs> again I'm gonna use the Rimmel highlight in this shade Stardust which feels very appropriate considering Melissa is why I bought this highlight in the first place <laughs> I will say though, it is a little bit too dark for me, so I definitely have to be careful of that. So I guess I'll just put this on my cheekbones, I don't know, maybe I'll just like dust it over my temples, but there's all this shadow there that I don't really want to disturb too much. Far too dark for my cupid's bow, but I put it there anyway. Okay, now I'm just going to finish my brows using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. It's that this to me is like just such a weird order for me to do my makeup in. Um, and now I'm going to do yellow, actually prominent blush, I believe. So maybe I will take mostly the shade Contortion from the Likely Makeup uh, Clown Blush Palette. I'm trying to be pretty light-handed with it. I think this will work, and I'll just basically blend it like into my shadow. And then here as well. Whoops. Ah. And for my temples, actually for the apples of my cheeks and my temples, I will take this yellow, the shade Carnival from this palette as a way to just like blend it out. And once again, I'm just going to go off camera really quickly just to get this blend into my cheeks looking good and then I'll be right back. Okay, so finally I feel like I've gotten to a place where I like this. I think it was in shambles for most of the video, but now I feel like I've finally been able to get the blend where I want it to be. 
Um, so I actually use some of the shade Reef from the palette, this light orange, to blend into my blush and stuff. And I feel like that really like allowed everything to blend together. And I did just brush some brow gel through my brows. I thought it was filming, but I wasn't. Finally, I'm going to just take some freck and freckle it up. And then I'm going to finish up my face and yeah, show you the finished look. Okay, and this is the finished look. Honestly, I really like it. Um, I feel like I executed it or I managed to pull it off better than I thought that I was going to. I was feeling very um, doubtful. <laughs> in the beginning, but I really, I do really like the way it turned out. I think it's similar in a lot of ways to how I do my makeup normally, but also very different as well. I feel like it has taken me like twice the amount of time that it takes me normally to do my makeup, but also it's just like a new, you know, kind of technique. So obviously it's going to take me longer, but it definitely has inspired me to like do my makeup in different ways and, you know, play around with different application techniques and stuff because this is just, I think this is so pretty. And I never would have done it if I hadn't pretty much exactly copied what Melissa did, <laughs> to be honest. So on my lips, I have the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Truffle, the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in Creme, and the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this, um, and let me know how you typically like to do your makeup. Are you very much like pack shades on and blend out, or are you more, oops, like me, where you like to, where you like to really blend in layers and work in layers and build and stuff? Let me know. And let me know what you think of this look. I will link Melissa's channel down below because she is amazing. Um, and if you don't follow her, you definitely should. Thank you so much for watching this video. I upload three videos a week, typically. And I would love to see you in my next one. Bye.